So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, it says an airplane flies at an altitude of five miles toward a point uh, directly over an observer. The speed of the plane is 600 miles per hour. Um, find the rates, the rates at which the angle of elevation um, theta is changing when the angle of theta equals 30 degrees. So I have a nice little picture. We talk about angle of elevation. Um, if you guys remember, angle of elevation is from a horizontal line. Angle of elevation will be going up. So this would be the angle of depression. Here would be your angle of elevation. All right. Now there's a couple things that we know um, as far as defining our variables. We know that the speed, or I'm sorry, the um, we don't know how far. Well, actually, let's just go with this. We know our height here is five miles. We know that dh dt, right, the change in the height as this plane is flying is going to be zero, right? Would you guys agree that the height is not changing at all? Correct. Okay. Um, do we know what? Let's just call this x the distance. The how far the distance is horizontally. Let's call this x. Do we know? Um, we don't know what that distance is. And um, however, though we do know the change in that distance, right? Because how far is it going? It's going 600 miles per hour, right? Which is a rate. So therefore, um, we could say dx dt is going to be 600. Um, miles per hour. And now what we need to do is, and the last thing is we don't know what the distance is. We don't know what the distance is, which would be the hypotenuse of the plane to the observer, nor do we know what the change in that is, which we could call that you know, hypotenuse if we wanted to. Um, and we don't know what to change that. However, if we look at our question, it's saying find the rates at which the angle, um, find the rates at which the angle of elevation is changing when the angle of theta is 90 degrees. So we're basically looking at, they're asking us to identify um, d theta over dt. We know that at when theta equals 30 degrees, we're looking for that amount. So basically what I'm changing, um, step two, restate the question, find the rate at which the angle of elevation is changing. So therefore, when I know that, I need to find d theta over dt. I know that I need to find the rate and change of theta. So my equation obviously has to include a theta. Would everybody agree with that? Yes. OK. So if you guys remember what we did last class period, we did a triangle problem, and we did the derivative with the Pythagorean theorem, right? If you guys remember in your notes, we did a problem with the Pythagorean theorem. But the Pythagorean theorem is not really going to help us here because that doesn't deal anything with theta. Um, if I know that I need to evaluate something with x, and I have this 5 miles, yes, I don't have anything with the height, but we're not talking anything about here. So therefore, if you realize that here I could use theta opposite of height, that's where I came up with my equation of number 4, tangent of theta equals, um, we'll call this the height over x. And we'll call this h equals 5 miles. All right. Um, now, we can go ahead and identify what x is if we want to, to go ahead and find x, because we could simply say at tangent of 30 degrees, we have 5 miles over x. So therefore, x equals divided by the tangent of 30 degrees. So going back to my calculator, since I'm talking about 30 degrees in degree mode, I make sure that on my calculator I have my mode set equal to degrees. And I'll just do 5 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees. And I get 8.66. X is going to be 8.66 miles when tangent of theta equals 30 degrees. 
All right. So here's our general equation. But remember, we need to find our equation with respect to t, right? So therefore, now I'm going to differentiate with respect to t. So d over dt of tangent of theta equals h over um, x. Actually, let's do. So d over dt um, tangent theta is going to be secant squared of theta d theta over dt. I could rewrite this. Let's do this this way. As h x to the negative first power. And did I have? What did I plug in with that? Oh, I didn't put in the five. We could represent that in with 5. That would make that a lot easier with our life. We could say that's going to be at 5. That will make our life a lot easier. Because we already know we're trying to find the change in, yeah, it makes sense. We're trying to find the change in our theta when the height, or we know the height is always going to be at 5 miles. So that's going to be a constant in the problem. Um, that's never going to change. So we can go and enter that in. But we want to find the change in the theta. Um, for our x at 30, which we haven't gotten to yet because we want to find the, diff uh, the rate. So therefore, this becomes negative 5 um, over x to the negative second power. And therefore, this equals d theta. That's going to be in the hmm, cosine square root of theta d theta over dt equals negative 5 over x squared. So therefore, now I can multiply by the reciprocal of cosine squared of theta over 1 on both sides. Cosine squared of theta over 1 on both sides. So therefore, I have d theta over dt, which we are looking for is equal to negative 5 times cosine squared of theta over x squared. Now, we know what x is, which is going to be 8.66 squared. And we also know what cosine is, which is going to be uh, 30 degrees. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I forgot to differentiate this. Or I'm sorry, not differentiate it, but guys, when we take the derivative with respect to t, what do I also need to add? dx dt. My bad. So over here, you're going to have dx dt. And we know what dx dt is, which is going to be, and I'm sorry, we're going to the left. So that's going to be negative 600. So that's going to be times negative 600, and that's cosine of 30 degrees. Well, if we think of cosine of um, cosine of 30 degrees, Three degrees, cosine 30 degrees is going to be square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 3 over 2, which is going to be 9 over 4. So if I multiply all of this out, cosine of 30 squared. OK, and that multiplies by there times negative 5 times negative 600 divided by 8.66. And when I go ahead and multiply all of this out, I get my d theta over dt is 30. Radians per hour. or I could say in degrees. Degrees per hour. 
Yes. That's 600, yes, because you're traveling to the left. 